welcome back guild mates as you can see from what's going on right over here we're back in the manga dubs and we're starting off with ace of diamond act two chapter 131 so we're gonna just go ahead and jump into it because i've got oh my god seven different ones to go through right now Motivating one another to improve and sometimes cracking jokes with each other. They're both friends and comrades in arms. Sado finishes the Yamamori and Sado games with one loss and one win before uh one win before summer challenges and gains get bigger. Okay. With the intense games against the USA team over, the players get back to their respective alma maters. Okay, so essentially everybody's coming back from where they were. <laughs> There's the <laughs> Ugamori guy. Ah, the clockwork pitcher. Everybody in... Uh, Jeez, who's this? I, okay, uh, so everybody's slowly returning back. I can't tell uh, specifically which ones are where at the moment, but uh, yeah, this guy comes up. I'm back. No one's gone home yet, huh? Good to have you back. How'd your games go? One loss, one draw. Eh? The American team was full of incredible players as, in, as expected. For real? You couldn't win against them even with the guys from, like, Narumi and Miyuki on your side? Jeez, just how strong are the Americans? Well, we did have to deal with an unfortunate accident on our part, but yeah. Still, Narumi M.A. showed himself a king. For real, huh? Maybe I should have accepted the invitation then. Oh well. Not that a player who can barely move would be of any use in the dugout anyway. Oh, shit. This is... Today we had to turn the tables on us in the second half again. Today we had the tables turned on us in the second half again. That makes it three defeats in a row since last week. Oh my god, it's... It's... Yakshi. What? It's okay, though. We'll be ready in time for the summer tournament. He's giving advice and helping correct him. We'll make it in time no matter what. All right, we're finally back. Kanade, Yuki, Kawashima, Miura, Takatsu, Yui, Seki, Okamura. Oh, wow. So he, he hasn't figured out who the bottom three are going to be, but he's got a list of eight names. And notice how <laughs> notice how Sawamura is not in the bottom group anymore. Okamura will make the roster now, I guess. Yuki is a shoe in as well, no? Seeing that he hit a valuable score opening homer today. It's a fight for the remaining outfielder spots then, huh? Don't forget the team needs Mimura and Seiki as runner coaches. Also outperforms them in defense, though. Don't write off Yui yet. His batting is pretty good, and he can play outfielder too, which kind of means it's us that it's us third years who will get the boot, huh? Oh Jesus! Everybody's covered in sweat in this next one. Don't friggin' say it out loud. We're all doing our damnedest not to voice it. Back in the office. In my sincere and honest opinion, we should give the reserve spots to the third years. <laughs> yeah, but if you're doing this out of pity and not desire to win, it's a whole different thing. There are 16 practice matches scheduled on weekends until the start of the tournament, and we still have eight games before the roster announcement. For now, one thing is clear. We have no choice but to have Yui and Okamura accumulate all the experience they can so they can serve as Ono substitutes. I agree. Also, depending on Ono's recovery rate, 
We might have to consider the option of removing him from the roster entirely at this stage. Eh? Well, in any case, for now, I just hope no one else gets injured. We'd been saving the numbers for the second half, but when it came down to it, he couldn't stabilize his control, and instead of helping all the numbers... Uh, instead of helping, all the numbers did was worse in our predicament. Figures, since the numbers are closely linked with his fastball, naturally the more tired he gets, the bigger the backlash. Failing to notice small changes is my fault. Still, it was a good call to give up on the numbers and keeping and keep fighting with fastballs, so you deserve some credit for that, okay? So tell me, how was it for you, now that you've worked with him as a battery? Did you learn something from it? All right, I like that we're back in, uh, in this next page, we're back in Miyuki's room, and he and Okamura are talking about Sawamura. Like, the more, the more time with Sawamura, the better. <laughs> I love this, as soon as, as soon as he starts... <laughs> as soon as he gets back, Sawamura bursts into the room. Gap, so you're back. Good job fulfilling your duty. Don't call it duty. Please knock. <laughs> so how'd it go? Did you win? Did you get to form a battery with Naramiya son? It was one loss, one tie. Due to an accident mid game, I did get to be partners with Naramiya. Hey, you did? You really got to be a battery with Naramiya son? Yeah, it it's just so happened. You did, huh? What? So, what's his weakness? Did you find some way to bring him down? <laughs> of course, he, he's got no chinks in his armor to speak of, and his change-up has evolved to boot. Today, Inajutsu showed off their, yet again their reason for their strength. Only I did get to see the courses of his pitches. If there's some gain to be gleaned from this experience, it would be that. Do you think you can hit off him? Yeah. I will hit off him. Oh! That's a bold statement from Miyuki. He usually doesn't make such bold statements. I'm loving that. Let me go back a page really quickly. Uh, <laughs> I'm liking, I'm liking like the, just the kind of casual, but, you know, determined Miyuki sitting there in his chair talking to them. And then the extra determined look in his eye when he says, I will hit off of him. And then there's there's no dialogue, but the other two the other two in the room plus Sawamura, like the they're giving off different expressions. You see a very determined look on Okamura, like similar to what Miyuki's got there. I don't know, kind of a surprise look from the other guy. I don't even know his name. He's just random background dude as far as I'm concerned. And then of course Sawamura's usual determined full grin. <laughs> Just hearing that puts me at ease. Lots of stuff happened, but I feel I'll sleep like a baby tonight, so I'm off to bed. Ah, right, wait. I heard you performed great today, uh, great yourself today. Everyone was praising you. No, no, not at all. We all worked real hard to rest that one, that one win today. All of us together, including Okamura over there. I like that because Okamura looks kind of surprised by that. And Miyuki, in his panel, looks like, you know, that's just Sawamura business as usual. Saying all he wanted to say, asking all he wanted to ask, and then leaving just like that. Not unlike a hurricane, eh? I have a request to make. Please tell me more about the numbers and about Sawamura-senpai. Oh, damn, these guys. Okay, so this is, uh... This is the other guy, the kid that was with, I'm guessing the other, yeah, it's the other catcher. Uh, and this is the flashback right here. Our defeat in the first game is my fault. I couldn't help the team regain momentum with my pitching after Ono Senpai had, a, had to leave due to injury. Ah, uh, he's feeling extra guilty and, oh, wow. He's already passed the frick out. Oh, nope, he's not. He's walking over and he goes, starting tomorrow. Let's partner up as much as we can, both in games and for practice. Eh? I will do my best to throw to the spots where it's easy for you to catch my pitches. No, you should just throw. 
No, you should just throw how you and throw how and to where. Okay. No, you should just throw how, how and to where you want to throw, Furia son. It's me who should do my damnedest to try and catch your pitches. I'll support you as best I can. Ah, uh, I like that because <laughs> Furia is just kind of laying there calmly and uh, just Ono in the background listening to this and. You could tell that he's he's got he's he's happy to see that he's got you know catchers coming up who are as determined as him. Oh, there he goes. He's going to step up and say something. I moved on to the next page. Let's make today's defeat count towards future games. Oh no, senpai. Yes, senpai. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he's sleeping. Fast asleep, huh? So he went right back to sleep. The deepening bonds will make them stronger. Yeah, but at this point in time, I think Sawamura should be the ace. Especially if Okamura can catch up to Sawamura's ability as a catcher. But with Miyuki back in the lineup, I think Sawamura would go before Furia and the roles will be reversed. I think that Furia will be a relief pitcher this time around. That's my prediction or... Yeah, I'll say prediction. It's also my hope, but it's definitely my prediction as far as how things are going. But we've got eight more games to go till things are... <sighs> things are decided as far as the roster goes. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, that worried just yet because we haven't seen what else they can do. Uh, that being said, let's move over to Reddit and see what some of the comments are on here. Also, thank you to the commenter who was suggesting that I do a little bit of description as to what is actually happening on the page and in some of the panels so that, you know, I make it more engaging. That was a very helpful idea, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sheeper Z. That panel mentioned the hope for no more injuries. That panel mentioning the hope for no more injuries is cursed. There's just been this ominous feeling that something's going to go wrong and it's going to be more than just Ono who sits out because of injury. If it's Sawamura, I will rage. He's technically gotten away without being injured yet, so I've been dreading the thought that he's due for one. I hope not, though. I want to see a pitcher duel between him and May. Oh, that'd be awesome. I wonder what Okamura wants to know about Sawamura besides the numbers. Wish Wolf Boy would just ask Adrian himself instead of Miyuki. Ah, uh, why do y'all have to make me worry now? <laughs> oh no, about to get Chris. Oh no, that's so mean. Chris Senpai, no. Okay. Oh my God, what a tease! Blocking the roster list of number one and eleven to fifteen. Of number 1 and 11 to 15. Sawamura and Furia's numbers. Ah, please, Sawamura number 1. Side note, Miyuki is such a badass captain. Oh man, looks like Sato is cut for sure The uh, too. Not even a mention of his name. Poor Sato. Ah, uh, dang. Eight more games until the summer roster is confirmed. I wonder how many chapters that'll be. I could only imagine what everyone's reactions would be if Sawamura doesn't get the ace number. Hopefully all his hard work pays off. Hell yeah. Uh, I hear here, uh, uh, hit, hit row five, uh, broken hearts land says regarding Ono, I wouldn't be so fast to write him off the roster. Ochai may have suggested it, but it was pretty clear on their faces that th his suggestion Invoked an inner protest in the others. Katooka, Ota, Takashima. So technically, it's an unpopular minority opinion. Ocha has no honor in the sense the other three have. Meaning he's coldly rational and not one to let emotions and emotional circumstances. Like Ono being a true hard worker in a third year. And that to him to be off the roster may very well be the end of the world get in the way of his judgment so i think if there's hope that ono will heal by the time the summer tournament is still ongoing katooka will probably keep him on like he did with tanba that's also true and i did mention something around that line when we got to that portion of the manga but 
those are some of the thoughts from the community, and you got my thoughts and opinions as well in this manga dub. I'm curious to know what your thoughts and opinions are as well. Remember, guys, this is just the start of a conversation. This is definitely not the end of it. So if you want to let me know what you thought of this chapter, please, please, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, p spread the word. Let people know that there is a legit Ace of Diamond manga dub and review here on this channel. And uh, as it doesn't just have to be Ace of Diamond. There's all the other manga that I'm doing uh, manga dubs and reviews for as well. So please let them know that there's a legit channel for that stuff. I will see you guys in the next one, which is Seven Deadly Sins. Later. I was about to say later, Gators, but uh, I hadn't. I didn't pull up OBS. I wasn't ready to end it. So now I will. Later, Gators. Thank you.